Swadika. Master Ace Ramirez here from Crew Muay Thai with our Crew Muay Thai Tip of the Week. Right now we're going to be covering in this clip uh, leg shield and a couple combinations to do it. But before we do that, let's go over a couple common mistakes. In our guard stance, we have the student here positioned and most common mistake that I've been able to see is the knee comes vertically right in front of the body. And that's a problem because as the person kicks, it's going to basically spin the person. So a lot of us already knew that, but we want to make sure that we're going to make it proper. So the knee's going to go up off to the angle and down. A lot of times all we do is just say, we're facing the wall, knee points out to the corner, up and down. And real quick, second common mistake that we always see is the person breaks posture. So they lean down. So the best thing to do is to not instruct our student to have the elbows come down. It's more important that the knee comes up. So we're going to see more proper posture and drop again. Notice that the head stays at 12 o'clock. One more time. Knee comes up and down. And the third thing that I want to be able to show is the opposite hand is going to do a post. So as a leg shield, they have a nice base, dropping it down. Notice when he drops it down, he always goes back into a staggered stance. One more time. Leg shield comes up, hand is out, and back down again. Now we're ready to be able to go into our class. We have two students working with us today, and we're going to go over a couple things that I prep all of our students with before they wind up doing their combinations and curriculum. Right now they're in their guard stance, they're going to be doing a basic leg shield, so leg shield is up, they drop it down, and they're going to advance with a jab cross and reset back. Notice when they do the jab cross, they're always going to advance. Remember the common mistake. Leg shielding, and they're going to overreach on the jab. We're going to avoid that. We're going to make sure we're very meticulous in footwork. So from here, once again, they're going to be doing their leg shield, Shh. dropping it down then with a jab cross. Shh. Reset. Now that's our first variation. The second variation is instead of stepping up before a strike, they're going to step out. What I like to show a lot of the beginners is before they step out, uh, before they kick, they always have to step out. So in this case, they're going to leg shield up. Shh. They're going to step out and kick. Shh. And reset. Let's do that one more time. From here, there's a leg shield, Shh. stepping out and kick. Shh. Now, we have one other variation to do. We're still doing a step out and kick. However, we're going to be using the right leg. So in this case, we have the exact same technique. They're going to leg shield up, Shh. using the rear leg, stepping out and kick. Shh. Reset. One more time. From here, leg shield one, Shh. and stepping out two. Let's review all three of those right now. So for right now, they're in their guard stance. When I say one, they're going to do the whole thing in completion. Ready? And one. Leg shoe and jab cross. Reset back. Number two in completion. Ready? And go. Leg shield, down, and body kick. Third one is stepping out with the rear leg. Ready? And three. Go. Leg shield, down, step, and body kick. Try these tips. You can use them within your class. They seem very, very basic. However, it's going to help the student know what to do with their feet, not just after the block. One thing we don't want to be able to do is teach our students how to block and do absolutely nothing. This block turns it into an actual counterattack. Okay, guys, now that you've been able to practice this with your partner over and over again, now we can do it a little bit more back and forth. And as they're going to be doing that, I'm going to give you a couple of common corrections. So as they start, first person is going to do their low line kicking. Now, a lot of times that they go into a rhythm, I notice that a lot of students start looking down before the kick. That's telegraphing it a little bit too much. What we want to make sure is we main eye contact with our partner. Even though we know our first technique is going to be a leg kick, we want to make them think that we want to box. With that being said, keeping the ice contacted, we do the first block. We're going to go, go back and forth with our punches and our kicks, but our hands always maintain at a reasonable level. What would that be? Thumb can be able to wipe the forehead or the eyebrow without dropping or raising the hands. As they're going to be able to do that, they'll be able to continuously do the drills, circling back and forth and doing their exchanges.